Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's intro part two of two of my very big plant haul. If you haven't seen the first half of the video, go back to yesterday's video where you get to see a bunch of plants that I purchased over a course of, I believe, three days in the beginning of June. Stay tuned for more upcoming planting with Julian's and more plant hauls. Over the past few weeks since I did this huge haul, I have purchased more plants for the collection. I know that sounds crazy. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it as that. <laughs> you guys can relate. Hope you guys enjoy part two of today's video. Sound off in the comments down below if you went out and plant shop once your city started to open up. And what kind of plants did you purchase? I would love to know in the comments. Enjoy part two of today's video. I want to move on to Sensivarius because I think I got almost 10 Sensivarius. Half of them are repurchased and half of them are brand new to the collection. Let me start with my repurchase sense of areas and then we'll talk about the new one. Here ones. is my repurchase plant baby number one, my sense of area. It's variegated. I have to look up on my sense of area collective video to see the ID on this one because when I filmed that video back then, I had this plant and it was one of my sense of areas that I lost in the big rain. I finally got it in me to repurchase it. You guys know if you guys have been following the channel, I've been trying my best to repurchase the sense of areas I lost in the rain. But along the way, I've been picking up new sense of areas to add to, to the collection, which has been fun, but still very sad to lose them from the start. So hopefully you won't be uh, going anywhere and you'll grow with me. And actually this type of sense of area is very slow growing so we'll see because my original one wasn't showing much activity at all which was kind of sad i definitely have a thing for sense of area and maybe in the future maybe before summer ends i'll do an updated sense of area collective video because my sense of area collection is looking pretty good again another repurchase baby so i have another bird's nesty type of sense of area variegated and i might even have one already like this but this is definitely a repurchase one my original one died from the rain there's tons of babies in here and honestly guys i can never say no to sense of areas so if i see one and i don't have it it's more than likely i will purchase it or repurchase it and add it to my original I'm one go through the collection if i see the same sense of area i'll try to group it up to make a fuller planter it's definitely one i wanted to bring back into the collection another repurchase sense of area striking dark vibrant colors i'm gonna give it a spin so you can see my original one i probably bought ooh, maybe two three years ago and i never came across it until this year and i decided to pick it up take a look at it stunning and you guys already know all of my sense of areas are in white planters so stay tuned to see a planting with julian sense of area edition planting up all of these sense of areas so far they're doing all good so i'm not mad at them at all they've been loving the weather this time of year and there's tons of babies in here so if you guys are interested I definitely don't mind taking from this planter because it is a full planter. I love the striking bold colors and the variegation. So this was a very uh, fun one to repurchase. Like take a look at take a look at it. Love this one. Okay. Ooh, now we're getting into plants I've never had. So let's talk about six cents of areas that I've never had before in the collection, which is pretty exciting that I finally have it. I have this variation in my collection now. I'm gonna have to look on the internet and ID these ones because I don't know the ID. None of these were ID when I purchased them. This is on the light green side, so love that. Then I came across a dark green variegation so as you see light green and dark green i had to get both i don't know the ids of this and it's growing very interesting so sound off in the comments down below if you guys know the id of this sense of areas or any of them um, but i definitely have my uh, research cut out for me At night is when i usually research for ids when i'm like done for the day editing and my youtube day i'll like focus on one plant and try to find the id and then like save it in my uh, Excel spreadsheet so that I 
can keep that documentation somewhere where I can always look for the correct ID so when I do my collective videos then I can go ahead and put it on the screen. I usually wait for my collective videos to make sure I know all of the IDs of my plants. I have hundreds and hundreds of plants and it's very hard, very very hard to ID them and I'm learning along the way with the help of you guys. As well. Are you guys still with me? Because <laughs> I still have a few more plants to go. Okay, uh, let's talk about my big sense of area here. Another sense of area. I want to say this is the cylindrical, but I could be wrong. It is so huge and it kind of almost looks like a fern wood. So sign off in the comments down below what kind of sense of area do you think this is? This was not labeled and it's huge. It's be one of the largest sense of areas I have, or at least the four that I'm going to be sharing with you of the sense of areas I uh, recently purchased. And if you guys watch my lives, I have shown this plant already on the live. I love it a lot and I can't wait for you guys to see the sense of very planting with Julian. So very fun, very aesthetically pleasing. If I had a larger house, I would just have this somewhere in the corner, living life. But for now, they're just kind of ganged up in my patio and I just love seeing the sense of very collection grow. But this one is definitely an investment. It's huge, it's stunning, and I just love the dark, vampy green that it brings to the space. Here's my next sense of area that was also part of my life. It is huge, it is weird, it's interesting. It almost looks like a patent, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm pronouncing that correct. It looks wild and crazy, but no ID on this one. And it's huge, it's long, it's crazy. I don't know how to style him. For now, he's just kind of just hanging out by my wicker chair on the side of my coffee table. Sound off in the comments down below if you had this plant, how would you style it? Because it's just long, wild, and crazy. And I just don't know what to do with him. So for now, he's just kind of hanging out by my wicker chair. And this thing is so long and crazy. I just, I don't have it like leveled up on a planter i just have it on the ground and it's still pretty tall compared to my other sense of areas but i love him i love the weird and crazy one so very fun sense of area to add to the collection is a very fun sense of area that was gifted to me and i'm trying to have the owner of this mother plant to get something back from me as a thank you as a trade Watch channel you guys know i am a huge believer of plant trading and plant gifting and sharing um, i definitely don't want to take and not give anything back as a thank you so in time i would like to uh, see the person again and in time i would like to have something traded off for this plant but i guess for now it is gifted which i feel really weird but sound off in the comments down below if you know the type of sense of area this is the dominant color of the mother plant is yellow which is so crazy to me i just love it a lot there is a baby down here so wish me luck and i've um, never seen this sense of area in person so i was really really happy when this was gifted to me and I'm looking forward to seeing what the baby looks like very shortly, hopefully. Uh, another beautiful sense of area. I don't know the idea of this one. It almost looks like a moonshine hybrid because as you can see, like the lightness of it reminds me of moonshine, but then totally variegated too. Like every leaf is different. Take a look at it. Like every leaf is different. And actually, when I purchased it, it was in bloom, but not anymore. Like, wow, look at this one right here in front. Take a look at that. It just gives me moonshine vibes, so sound off in the comments down below. I'm gonna have to research to see what the correct ID of this one. For now, I'm just gonna call it a moonshine hybrid because of the light color of it, but then the contrast of the different greens. I don't know what it is. It's stunning. There's tons of babies in here. Like, take a look at this section here. Look at how pretty that is. I love this thing a lot. So, very fun sense of area. I mean, every single section of this plant is different colors. 
love this one a lot one of my prized sensevaria and i'm so glad i have it in the sensevaria collect very fun sensevaria sensevaria i know this one silver plus it is so stunning it gives me moonshine vibes it gives me a different kinds of vibes i just i love this thing a lot do you guys have the silver plus do you guys consider this a rare plant do you guys feel attracted to this one i just love the light variegation of it i just i love this thing a lot very cool very very cool i mean the sense of areas they rock i love them a lot they're all different they're very interesting very low maintenance and it purifies the air like can't get mad at that so finally got the silver plus in the collection I love it a lot. I think there's three sections in here. So let's see when new babies pop up and um, when this planter will get filled up. But I'm so glad I have a new sense of area in the collection. I'm really attracted to the weird ones. And when I came across this plant, it was in very rough condition. You'll see that I did a whole separate planting with Julen uh, Rescue Edition along with my Purple Heart, Trudescantia. This one was looking very sad. I finally came across this weird one. It's called Cissus quadrangularis. Really crazy and in very bad condition. But I got it. And it's part of like the grape family. It's a trailing climbing plant. I don't know. It just looks like a creature of the night. I'm not too sure. It kind of gives me like all kinds of vibes you'll see when i plant it up the struggle was real because the condition is bad. wish me luck on this one i it was very like actually very hard to travel with because this uh, one or two sections broke off from it but it was already like about to break off so i definitely consider this a rescue plant and the ones that i did see on the internet are very small and thin and nothing big and chunky like this so i don't even know how old this plant is but it is on the rare side and i think it also gives off like leaves too like succulent like leaves on it it has not done anything for me in the past month sound off down below if you have this plant and uh any tips i'm just treating it as a succulent cacti and um yeah it's just very rough condition but I had to pick it up because it was weird, interesting, and rare. Looking forward to seeing how well it does and when it's going to root up on me. Like this section fell off during commute and no roots yet. So I'm going to stick it back in the soil and check on it in a month. Crested Aeonium that is not doing good. And I'll read the comments in the comments section after a week or so. I have a very beautiful crested aeonium. I don't have it in soil because for whatever reason, and I I don't even like remember watering this thing much, but as you see, it is rotting. Like why is it rotting? I don't know. I like rarely watered you heavy. I mean, I maybe watered it once, maybe twice, but not a lot since I've had it in the collection for a month and it's just not happy so I took it out of the planter and I might guys I might like I might actually do like a straight cut here and get rid of this whole section here because it's like rotting which is so sad and I actually have two aeoniums that were here on the side but they just fell off so i'm just gonna like stick this into soil but this is very unfortunate like it's starting to even affect this crested section here and you know for all i know the plant probably might have been in bad condition from the get-go because this was like hidden do you know what i mean this is like very close to the root ball but the root ball doesn't look sad so sound off in the comments down below. I'm just gonna let it chill out, um, but very unfortunate. So I may just cut here, callus it over, get it to root up again and start all over so I can save the crested part. But I mean, how old do you think this plant is? So sad to see. The condition of it too is pretty rough, but I just thought it was so pretty that I wanted to save it. But now it's giving me all this drama. I want to end today's video with 
the coolest crested aeonium in my collection it is big it is beautiful it is crested it is variegated and it is an aeonium let me bring it up oh my goodness here it is as the scrolls crumbs of the pine cones are all on it oh my goodness all right so here is my beautiful crested aeonium it's just stunning like take a look at it isn't it gorgeous i'm gonna have to clean it up in fact when i did the planting with julian's originally i just planted it up because i had so many plants to plant up i didn't go back and clean the aeoniums which i'm gonna have to i literally can probably just do like an asmr video where i don't talk and i can clean all of the aeoniums i could do that let me spin it so you can see all dimensions of this beautiful crested baby like seriously how old do you guys think this thing is it is beautiful it is stunning and actually when i found it it was laying on the ground on its side and nobody was paying attention to it and i said i need to bring you home i need to add you to the collection and this one has not been giving me drama thankfully it's only that one that i just shared with you guys everybody else from the aeoniums are doing really good in the collection so it just like boggles me to see that one like go downhill so comment down below what do you think about this beautiful crested aeonium how old do you think this is and also what is your favorite plant in today's haul video was there any one plant that really uh, caught your attention and stay tuned for a handful of planting with julians i feel much better that i was able to gather them today and refilm the haul video in daylight i feel um happy that i was able to make time to do this because i am going to be leaving to las vegas in a couple of days and i know very soon the uh, planting with julian videos are going to be coming up for all of these plant babies so Stay tuned for that. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday to Thursday, and the vlog channel, Friday to Sunday. You get a video each and every day. Stay tuned. I think I filmed five or six planting with Julins, planting all of these babies up. And I look forward to sharing that on the channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye, guys.